Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! If you want to get to the roots of a city where it first began, a lot of times you have to start downtown and then work your way to the river because most early settlements started here, down by the river, and then slowly as they figured out things flooded or as buildings grew taller, they would move up the hill. Now, in our case, a lot of our early trade settlements happened in the 1700s right by this river valley and I'm headed down to the 109th Street Bridge here in Edmonton, uh, often referred to as the high level bridge because, well, it's high up and it's level. <laughs> and uh, on the south side of the banks, around the turn of the century, there used to be a lot of infrastructure and buildings that were flooded in 1915. Those are now gone, but the foundation and some of the, the early human remnants still remain. Hopefully we're gonna find some cool treasures. I'm back on my bike. Let's go check it out. Mm. Okay, I'm getting close. There is our legislature, which is our main government building for our province. Kind of like the state capital if you're in the United States, that's what ours is. These are the old train tracks that go across the high level bridge. At one time it used to have a main line on it and two streetcars went on either side, so it had three lanes. And my great grandmother told me it was pretty terrifying when the wind would pick up and shake those cars on top of the bridge. But this means that we're very close to our destination because the other side of this bridge is where we're gonna find our site. at my destination and you might be asking well how do you know this is the spot you want to be at well there's the bridge historically from my research I could see that there was at one time uh, houses and structures and even a brick factory down here so we're gonna do a little investigating along the bank and see if there's any remnants of those old structures or buildings okay sometimes you can look where there's been erosion and find some remnants. Aha, look at this. Some remnants of our past. See all the bricks? That was either um, part of a building or uh, leftovers from when there was a brick plant down here. Either way, I think it's safe to say I'm in pretty much the right location. You can learn a lot from the sides of a riverbank. If you look at the top, you can see there's lots of brick. Here, this great line, that's volcanic ash. So then we start to get into kind of prehistoric um, history from that point down. This area is known to contain dinosaur bones and fossils and things of that nature. I don't think I'm gonna find any of that today. Well, heck, you never know. I'm looking for things that are made out of metal. And to do that, um, I have to peek over where not many people probably go and that's uh, find my way down by the river and uh, toss in my magnet and see what comes up. Made it down the side of the embankment. My thoughts are that if someone had a factory or houses at the top of this hill, 
they in the old days would have just thrown their garbage and other things down the hill towards the river sadly that's what they did i chained my bike up to a tree up there i'm not far from it so unless somebody brought a saw with them i should be pretty safe oh look there's already i'm this isn't metal but but look there's bits of old pottery so my theory might be correct and I would think that over years of rain and sediment and erosion that uh, we might find some metal in that water too. Somebody's old China down at the bottom. Okay, well here goes nothing. I'm gonna try and untangle this so I've got as much length as possible. Okay, let's go fishing. Kind of let's see first pull nothing i did feel it catch on something though so i'm going to try that again i'm going to try it slower okay what do we have here let's see that looks like a uh an old spike maybe off a boat like a bent over cribbing spike some square head nails I mean, there's certainly been activity here for a long time. It'd be nice to find something like a, an old coin or an ax head, but sometimes you get what you get, a bunch of rusted metal. I do see something a little closer to the surface. Bottom off an old bottle. 1954. Could have been a Coke bottle or something. You don't need a magnet to tell that this little piece sticking out of the side of the embankment here was once a big riveted piece of steel. Hmm. Look, there's writing on that brick. It says boo. <laughs> Maybe it's from the Halloween brick factory. The skies are starting to cloud over. So I've switched out to my old Buick and I'm waiting on a friend who knows of a good site near here. I'm kind of just a little bit away from downtown. Uh, and we're going to continue digging and hopefully he's got a lead on a cool soft spot to uh, go digging around at. So I'm going to lock up the car and we'll go walking through the woods. Jeez, I don't know where he is. Been a few minutes here. Oh, there he is. That's our good friend, Zach. <laughs> hey, Zach. Hi. Okay, you look like you've been out digging somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I was out metal detecting for a little bit before I met you. And was it worth it? Nope. It looks like you got yourself all dirty. <laughs> yeah, I didn't find a single thing, so. Okay, well maybe we'll have some more luck over I here. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you lead the way. Awesome. I'll keep my distance and then uh, we'll see what we can find. <laughs> Sweet. Just cause it's a nice, one of oh, the yeah. earlier screw top beer bottles to see if that has anything on it. So these are, these are fines from earlier. This is why you're all muddy. Yeah, a nice, I'm guessing coyote. Yeah, a little skull, skull. okay. Yeah. I'm some sort of little ashtray that I got to get cleaned up. All right. Well, worse for wear. Yeah, you, exactly. you do turn up some interesting things, though. So I'm curious to see uh, where we're headed today. Yeah, this site, I've gotten a lot of good stuff from the site that we're going to. So OK, great. We'll see what it turns up today. <laughs> Downtown Edmonton is built on a variety of old abandoned mine shafts. The neighborhood of Beverly itself has quite a few running underneath. And occasionally you come across an area like this where there's sinkholes, where the ground has started to collapse, where a mine is underneath. But uh, we're not going there today. We're headed off into the woods, the wilderness near the uh, river valley on, uh, I guess we're on the university side. Yeah. And we'll see um, if we can find an old dump site there too. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, I can see there's bricks here. Yeah, we can see where we, me and, uh, where we've been doing digging in the past is right here. Oh, so right, in the, right here on yeah. the side of the... And you figure this was just the neighborhood dump, I'm more or less? I'm guessing so, yeah. But there's still a lot of good stuff in here, for sure. Oh yeah, bits of, uh, bits of pottery. Yeah. <laughs> Cups, I mean, just right on the surface too, yeah. don't even have to dig. There's a bed post. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> So it almost looks like a crown on top. Yeah, or like a mace or something. <laughs> I see there's dishes up there. Yeah. Yeah, this has all been dug out already, but there's still quite a bit, like over here is all in dug, and down there there's some good area. Okay. Even just look, look on the ground. Yeah, right on here. the path. Yeah. 
those are nice patterns japanese wear i guess but yeah yeah right on the path <laughs> yeah you're just plowing that dirt <laughs> well it's not too full of stuff yet so i'm not really worried about breaking anything <laughs> hitting clay yeah it's cool you can see the layers of where things have fallen over time like that but i don't really see anything too good in this layer so we'll probably head down this hill Okay. And there's another good spot that's down that way. Yeah, I can see there's a part of a plate or something right there. See that has a pattern on it. Anything no, on nothing. it? Just plain? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think it's going to be a little muddy, so. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> that looks like some older pottery right there. It is what's left of it yeah exactly. I, I mean the goal is to try and find something intact right yeah. the bits and pieces are fun and all but it's nice to find whole bottles <laughs> i think people forget that in the old days facilities for uh taking garbage were not what they are now no and uh people have come a long way i was noticing the massive anthill oh man right there don't want to stand too long on that spot no kidding <laughs> there's cement and what looks like part of old works and there were mines in this area at first glance you think well that curve maybe it's part of a wagon wheel or something but like you said it actually continues on yeah all the way through here all the way through and down it could have been some sort of um rail cart system or who knows hey look there's even a little bridge here somebody's put yeah all for the bikers i guess <laughs> yeah i wonder where that went to you can, collapse. well, you can kind of see where it's concave right there. That maybe that was a mine shaft or something, yeah. and and it's fallen in. Well, there's so many mines in the Edmonton River Valley that are undocumented too, because people put test pits. Oh, and yeah, and people just like go that. digging too. Yeah. We are definitely getting close. It's all kinds of debris lying around in this area, bricks and parts of buildings. Find anything? Here's a milk bottle that's broken, but... Oh, it's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Northern Alberta Dairy Pool. Milk, drink for health. <laughs> that's too bad, that would have been a neat bottle. Yeah, it would have broken. been. That was just lying on the surface? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, as we uh, walk around, I'm sure that, uh, you know, the the winter frost is, permafrost has pushed a lot of stuff to the surface, too. Yeah, it goes all through here. There's... Yeah. Hmm. This whole entire hill right here is just covered in crap. Okay, well, let's do some digging. Yeah. I wonder if people think that urban explorers have no soul. If that's the case, there's one right there. Yeah, well, my first shovel full. There's bits of old pottery. Probably part of a teacup or something. Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell what pattern it is. You wonder if the rest of it's there. Hopefully. Uh, last week you were digging and you found a coca-cola push bar yeah that was pretty nice yeah and you know the nice thing when you find a porcelain enameled sign like that even if it's been buried the colors still stay really really well exactly yeah <laughs> yeah as long as the porcelain didn't get worn off it protects it really well. you can dig them up out of the ground in fact i've done that a couple of times myself i've seen that yeah <laughs> yeah so uh that would be ideally that'd be like my score of the day would be if we can find an old sign there could be signs in here for sure there's lots of metal so there is a lot of metal who knows if they threw any signs out yeah i see that there's scrap metal all over the place yeah. i mean who knows even like sometimes these old sheets of metal could have been signs at one point even sizable boxes or anything like that like that could have been the side of the yeah not so much anymore but well no people take oil cans and unroll them and use yeah. them as roofing yeah there's there's a good possibility Anything? Piece of a plant of a planting pot. Oh, okay. Um. Let's see. That part of a bowl. Lanley Pottery Company, Burslem, England. That's what that says. And yeah, it did have a Canadian maple leaf in the middle. 
probably made for export to Canada, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an older piece. Definitely. So that means this is probably, judging from that milk bottle, we're probably in a 1940s or older yeah, dump 40s. site. I found some older stuff here before, but it's mostly 40s things, I think. Okay, yeah, I was looking. This is a piece off of a crock. Imperial, probably like a, maybe a, a two or a five gallon. You know, surprisingly, look, there's an old sink. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll zoom in. That would probably clean right up. We, we dug one out of the, uh, when we were doing that renovation on the house out of the backyard, been sitting there for probably 50 years and it's in use now. If a person can get over to that sink, you could haul it out of here and use it again. But if there's a sink, that means there's probably, there could be some industrial stuff hidden down here, like signs and who knows what else. I'm gonna do some searching down this way. It's like they purposely cut a hole out of the bottom, which is interesting. So I wonder what it was. Maybe they were using it as a, like a cake pan or something. Yeah, that could be possible. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get closer to that sink right there. And I looked down and this has been kind of a natural runoff over the years. And there is a pile of stuff. Hey, look, somebody's shoe. Maybe that was the last guy that tried walking down here. He lost his shoe. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. And he's like, oh man, but he was down here in dress shoes. That's kind of the wrong wear for this. Well, I'm not wearing the best wear for this either, <laughs> but I can throw mine in the wash. Actually, there's a bottle right in front of me. Woo! I don't know what I thought that was. It felt to me like a wild purple animal running towards me. Oh, it is, oh, it's intact. Is that a, like a crown top or? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, there is an intact uh, old Welch's uh, grape juice bottle. Full of muddy muck. <laughs> but it's all there. Just sitting there. Maybe I'll throw this up to you. Or no, hang on. I'll bring it up to my own stuff. I don't want you to try and fall down a cliff. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, you got it? You could budget? It weighs a ton, but yeah, I can move it. <laughs> You want, you want me to bring that up for you? Or? Uh, I don't know if you, do you need a porcelain sink? <laughs> I don't know, is the front cracked or anything or? Or is that just a leaf? No, it's actually in pretty good shape. Okay, well if you, if somehow we can chuck it back up on the trail behind you. Yeah. See if we can get that up. Okay, Zach managed to haul this thing up. Surprisingly, and I gotta be careful because it's, it just rained the last couple days so it's really slippery. Did you uncover some bottles down there too? Uh, right by your foot. Shards. Some water glass right there. Nice yeah. bubbles in it. But yeah, I see that. Yeah. That sink is uh, pretty well could be used again. That's like a teens, 20s sort of uh, bathroom sink. Neat. That looks to be part of a stove right there. Yeah, hang on. I'll see if I can get through. Watch this will turn out to be like poison ivy or something. Uh, let's see. Enamelware. I don't want to uncover the next Dr. Zeus book, The Rat in the Hat. Oh, I hear rustling. That's not you falling down the hill? No, that's a bucket. <laughs> a bucket. Okay, you didn't kick the bucket? No. Nope. Okay. Not yet. Look at you're just like deep on this cliff face here parts of uh, timbers and structures. They could have knocked a whole building over for all I know. Just noticed, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, what looks like either wrought iron fence or wrought iron bed frame. I think it's a bed frame. And there's bottles right by it, a whole bunch of stuff. You can see they, they kind of took the uh, threads off the top of it there. See if I can pull that down. So if you guys can see this lying here, somebody has taken at one point an old wrought iron bed frame, and they've linked it with multiple other wrought iron bed frames into a fence. So this is a fence that goes all the way up into the trees made out of uh, old bed frames. <laughs> See that? Yeah. We just walked right past that. I didn't even notice it. Here's a old one right here and it's still got the label on it. Oh yeah. I can't, I don't know what it quite says, Let's but. Let's see. Gleaming, oh, hair, hair neat. It's a, uh, I think it's meant for like either shine or for styling your hair. Oh. <laughs> Probably not terribly old. No, it's got a plastic cap on it. Yeah, so that's not terribly old, no. but still. <laughs> yeah, someone had parts of a car down here. That's probably like off an old uh, 40 Chev or something like that. Looks a lot like the one that I have in my art. Actually, here's part of an old shoe. 
real old shoe. It's completely taken apart or deteriorated. They might have actually pieced it out to uh, use the leather off it for something. It's a fender off a bicycle. Recognize that right away. You know, it's a shame that there's all this trash line down here. I guess the cost to send somebody down here to clean it up would probably be pretty astronomical. And so here it rocks. Former neighborhood dump, basically just strewn all about. It's kind of sad. Parts of a jar. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, there's a couple uh, intact jars. You can kind of hear those shovelfuls there. You're hitting something. Yeah. Bits of bottles? Yeah. It's looking like it's just bits so far though. Yeah, careful where you kneel. I don't want yeah. you to grab my shovel. There's definitely glass in here. So there's remnants of you know, it kind of looks like this is a natural area for the water to run down too. Yeah. Carrying all the light, light stuff and bottles and... There's some blue. Yeah, by an Oxima bottle. Yeah. So what got you interested in digging out in the woods? And don't say burying bodies, because I'm out here by myself with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started, I've been digging the, the woods for eight or nine years now okay you just walk around and find places like this so yeah <laughs> follow a trail and see where it goes exactly oh, so far it's been pretty kind to me <laughs> yeah i know you've brought in some cool stuff into the store yeah well you, you get most of the best stuff that i find though <laughs> well i appreciate that yeah <laughs> oh joking about bodies and then you find a massive bone that looks like uh it's been cut. Well, that's gross. I imagine it's animal. And let's hope it's not human. That would be really disturbing to be in the river valley and dig up human remains. Ugh. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried because we came down here looking for bottles and whatever, but look, I don't want to touch it, but that could very well be a, a human bone that's been cut on either ends. Let's sure hope not. Um, but yeah, that looks like it could be, I don't know, part of an arm or leg bone. God, I, I, I sure hope I don't find a, I guess if we find a skull and verify it's human, we're gonna have to call somebody. <laughs> I've decided not to keep digging in that same spot. A lot of broken glass and bottles and those bones are frankly giving me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. Now, they're probably just somebody's stew meat. Back in the old days, they would cut up chunks like that and throw it in a pot, and that would just give you the flavor for your stew. Um, but, you know, I'm not an expert at identifying bones, so I don't want to turn over a human head in there or anything, as morbid as that sounds. Uh, we're in the river valley where nobody's been digging in a really long time, so who's to say what's back here? But we're going to keep on our adventure and see if we can find anything else. Definite signs of some debris and rubble in this area. I've lost contact with Zach. He's somewhere down in the woods. There's a lid off a teapot or something right there. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's actually all there. Basically through the trees up here, there's a bit of a clearing and it looks like there's things all the way running up the side of the bank. How old it is, I don't know, but we'll find out. Came down the path and emerged at the river. As much as we're looking at this, you know, for old dump sites and things that have been left away for a while, this is a pretty little town. And there's lots more to see and do than just come and look for garbage, that's for sure. I am perched on top of a fallen tree, and Zach is just burrowing like a little fox after a mouse. But it sounds like you're hitting glass. Yeah, there's some pieces of glass in here. That's something. It sounds like you hit something hard. While you're digging over there, I think what we found is maybe a whole building that was pushed over the ledge. Because there's um, parts of a wall with the uh, mortar still in the brick. There's probably parts of a complete brick structure 
down here and that would explain all the other rubble the cement they probably just uh, pushed it right off the edge which is what I usually do with my wife when I bring old cars home I push her right off the edge but she's still with me though so we're okay see that's the top of the valley where there's houses and it goes all the way down it's fairly steep actually you can't tell from the angle but it's uh, pretty darn steep yeah. if I slip I'm gonna be rolling but it looks like somebody at one point put a little tether there to attach a rope to. You guys see that. We're not the first ones to come down this way. Somewhere, somebody ran out of time. <laughs> that is the winding crown off of probably a 1930s or so pocket watch. So it might be a usable part, you know, this little bit here. Neat. Are you going right, are you going swimming? Is that what's happening? I'm not going swimming. Take a look. <laughs> okay, where'd you find? Just found uh, Sloan's liniment right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wonder. You had so much snake oil back then, you know. <laughs> It'll cure everything. That's probably what this was, yeah. <laughs> Sloan's? I'll look it up. I'll see if I can find an ad for it. Yeah, okay. But most of the time it was just alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> that's... <laughs> you won't feel your problems. You won't care about your problems anymore. Drink Sloan's liniment. <laughs> All your problems will fade away because you will be completely tipsy. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> but if that, that is a fairly early bottle. So you yeah. might have hit a spot there where there's more. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I don't know what this is sticking right here. If that's a... Yeah, it looks like part of a pipe. Maybe it's part of a broken bottle. It looks like it's steel. Yeah, I think that's metal, not glass, but there's definitely some glass in here, though, so this looks a lot more promising than where we were before. Yeah. Nice to find one good intact bottle, at least, anyway. Yeah. All right, there's some good glass in here. Okay, yeah. Another one? Yeah. It's kind of a weird shape, but... Yeah, that could have been um, hot sauce or vinegar. There's another jar. Does it have the lid on it? Or yeah. part of the lid? Gold coins inside? No. <laughs> hey, you never know. Yeah. Looks like you got a, a good spot there. I think so, yeah. Part of teacups. Yeah. There's a lot of glass. Yeah, I like this area. Like, yeah, every shovel you can kind of hear. Here, we should save these. These are kind of more unique. Yeah, definitely. Ew. <laughs> All right. Those are keepers. Hoping if this flask is from BC that it'll have some awesome on it. Oh, that's that's complete. Is that yeah. like, like a whiskey bottle or? Yeah, this is definitely a whiskey bottle. It's totally '40s Art Deco. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Has a lid on it. Oh, it's got what's left or of the lid, but <laughs> lid or cork in there. Yeah. yeah it's okay. a screw top, but it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Okay. Yeah. It looks like every shovel has something in it. <laughs> Handle. Yeah, poor, the teacups never seem to make it. No, I know. I've never, I never really find those full. Oh, um, there's actually that's just a just a cup. It's intact too. Oh, it's this is a Medelta hotelware. So this would have an made old it. hotel cup. Yeah. So is it just missing the uh, the handle off it? I don't, I don't think this one had a handle. It might have right where your thumb is. Maybe or maybe not. Well, let's put it in the keep pile. We'll, yeah. put, we'll, we'll bag it. Too bad there's no hotel name on it. That would be nice. Well, <laughs> yeah, that would be the icing on the cake. Yeah. Well, we're gonna call it a day. It was a busy day out digging around. Um, found some cool bottles. Well, at least Zach did anyway. <laughs> but you found much more cool stuff than that. Though. Oh, definitely, yeah. The water is just too high to find anything good today. Oh, so. uh, well. What are you going out next? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? <laughs> <Probably>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, once the water goes down, you'll be able to hit some of the other historic dump Definitely, sites. Yeah. yeah, well, cool. I'll have to check out uh, what finds you have. You know, if you find another Coke sign, you got to come see me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out today. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching today's episode. Hopefully, those bones weren't human. Likely not, but still, if you find a bone like that, you get a little creeped out. <laughs> so, a few bottles, a lot of fun, and uh, I'll have to do this again sometime. We'll see y'all soon. Don't forget to subscribe, and bye for now.